No fancy intro today. Nope. Do you know we have stocking caps? You're gonna see them back in the store here pretty soon. The reason why I'm wearing it, because I got somewhere to be and it's 43 degrees. 43. Now you might say, that doesn't seem like very cold. It is in a roadster. We are going to uh, Cars of Cafe. I'm gonna bring you with. Uh, now you might say, well, you take Clyde. Come on. We're gonna fire up Bonnie and we're gonna cruise on over there. Now, it's just because my, my head's gonna get cold and I don't want that. So, mm -hmm. yep. And uh, we got a couple of little things to do first and then we're gonna, we're gonna hit the road. There she is, Miss America. La, 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 la. Ah. All right, we gotta do. We gotta check over Bonnie, make sure she's good, right? Have to do that. I'm gonna check. Yep. Okay. Oh, we gotta take. It's looking for those. Always good to wear hear protection when you have open headers. Anyway, give Bonnie a little checkup. Yep, caps off, still has tires on it. Interior's good, windshield's dirty. I don't know. Let's say we're probably, let's see. Well, yeah, where? Yeah, the engine's still there. Okay, perfect. We all know she's perfect. The sun is warm for sure, but this is just merely to protect the old grape while we're, uh, while we're rolling. But look at that. I mean, can you beat that for a day? No, you can't. So what we're going to do, we're get, going to get the best hot rod in the world. And we're going to go for about a 20-minute drive. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to do that right about meow. It's time. Like I said, right now, right? So let's see. Uh, is the battery on? Well, it's dead. One of the two. Hold on a second. Okay. Half tank of gas. Should be enough to get around the old two. Let's see what we got. Oh, Miss Bonnie, you sure sound good today. Temp has come up to about 53 degrees. So, still, might be a little cold on the head. We'll uh, play it by ear. <laughs> Let's do this. Morning burnout for everybody? Uh, probably not. Maybe on the way home. All right, kids. Off we go. Yeah, man. This is awesome. It's not hot out. <laughs> My hands are cold a little bit, but I don't care. It's been too long since I had the girl out. I'll tell you that for free. We're going, I don't know, 55 or something. Car behind us. It's sunny. My head's warm. Let's do this. There was a deputy here, I would have done this a little bit ago. A little bit ago. A little bumpy ride coming up here. Can't wait. See you when we get there. What a fantastic morning. Just awesome. Look at that. Blue skies, new pavement. Can't beat that with a stick. All right, this time for real. Let's see when we get there. Got ourselves a 64 GTO. 389, three deuces. That was my geometry teacher 
That's uh, it was his dad's car. It was in a barn for 30 years. Dad got it and restored it. And now uh, Terry's got that one. It was super cool. This Torino is just ridiculous. Just super awesome. I mean, this thing is just clean. You can eat out of there. Look at that. You guys are missing out on the cart and caffeine. September. Can't be a spur body to stick. I don't care who you are. BMW. That guy's trading tires. Austin's in Essex. We're shot. Peyton loves this Galaxy. I can see why. It's a nice, clean muscle car. Check this out. Little Subi. I haven't figured out what those are, but you know, it's something. My friend Russ's car right here. 69 Galaxy, not Galaxy, Grand Prix. I'm not smart. Not smart. Hey, little Skylark. Oh yeah. This guy's for sale too. Maybe I should get that for Peyton. What do you guys think? Put down in the comments. We've seen this one before. This car is, I spent a bunch of time talking to the guy. Who owns that one? We know who this is. This guy's kind of jerk. There's a pretty cool SI right there. Austin trying to be, trying to make friends with people. Remember this guy? Said he's got the tea bucket and no new balance today. No new balance today. Got the Corvette though. Still got the same haircut. Same haircut. Same facial hair. Got my chair. Got my. Got hey, my chair. look at that. Straw See? hat. Straw hat. He knows what's up. I know. I know how to do this car show stuff. Yep. Straw hats are the, the, the must. Yes. It's a must. You've seen. I. You see. I'm squinting. I should have it on. Yep. You're getting a little red. <clears throat> um. So. He's gonna give us a, an update on the tea bucket that he said should be ready to go around 4th of July. It is now the uh, September. <laughs> we, we did not specify which year 4th of July. We did not. He uh, did this though. We're close. We're <laughs> close. <laughs> close. That's horrible. Which is the same spot it was in before. It's, uh, so it looks the same as June? Identical. Is it still red? Yeah. Is it dirtier? Oh, nah, not really. I haven't okay. swept in the shop, so uh, it's not any more dusty. But, uh, no. So it runs and drives. Perfect. As expected. So uh, coming soon to a parking lot near you, 127 T-Bucket with a suicide front end. Uh, Look for it in 2025. Maybe. Six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. I didn't record a lot of the talking because there was a bunch of it and it was awesome today. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these railroad tracks. Oh yeah. Shakes the front end of a solid axle car, just so you know. And anyway, I got some roundabouts to go through and I'll I'll bring you I'll bring you back around in a little bit. But this is going to be a nice slow cruise on the way home. Not too worried about anything. Uh, man, what a gorgeous day.
Get on your hot rod. Drive it. Let's go. Good Lord. Good night. Good morning. What happened? This is a fantastic morning. I'm telling you. Just, just look. I mean, can you beat this at all? No, you can't. You got Bonnie singing in the morning. You got, I don't know, steering wheels shaking all over. Cars wandering. Sky, wind noise. I don't know. If you could find something better than this. Put it down in the comments. I'm telling you. Anybody need a pontoon? Oh, for sale. All right. Boom. This is just fantastic. Got him, Gabe. Get out of your car. Go drive it right now. This is awesome. Just awesome. We made it home. Just like we knew we would. A little burp backwards. Timing shifted a little bit on it. <sighs> Do you hear that? Well, guess we get to fiddle. Fiddle with Bonnie again. It's okay. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, that timing's off somehow. We'll let it sit a little bit. We'll see what happens. Come on, why would you do that to me? Ha! Anyway, not every ride goes as planned, but it doesn't matter. That was a blast. Um, I think you just think just on those bumpy roads, you just kind of, you know, got a little bit out of time. Let it sit, let it cool off um, completely, and then we'll uh, fire it up and see if we can get it back. And then, of course, we're going to have to see if we can tighten that down, or maybe that bolt is just not the right one. Anyway, by the right one, I mean, like, worn out now. So, wow, was that a great ride. Was I hope you enjoyed the, the video from uh, the Cars and Caffeine. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to end it here. I'm not going to do any more of that stuff today because uh, this is too, too great. Minus the little setback here at home. Big deal. Um, so wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the ride along. Hope you enjoyed Cars and Caffeine. Stick around for more on curd and junk and all that stuff and we'll get bonnie uh, lined out and we'll take her off again i promise um if there's anything you want to see anything, stuff down in the comments subscribe stuff and things and whatever keep on retro kids get out in the car drive it get out in your shop build something share share your passion with somebody never know when you're gonna make an impact remember is that the mail carrier. I wonder if I get the mail. Probably not. Figure out kids for the next one. <laughs>